Welcome to a set review of Mega Blocks. I think it's uh, number CNC66. At least that's the only sort of code number I can see on the back of the box. And it is an add-on pack to the Call of Duty Zombies prison set. I re did review the big prison set before, and this one adds along to it. There are no specific pieces that connect it to each other, but you know, you just put it next to each other and it you know, get extended, or you can use the past to build something else. I got this for 38 Hong Kong dollars, and at first I was like, mm, this is good, this is bad, this is mostly just a figure. Uh, but no, um, as you see momentarily, there's actually quite a lot of pieces in here that uh, would be quite useful for people building dioramas and whatnot. Uh, on the back of the box, there was a huge Chinese sticker on there for import reasons. And uh, it was one of those really crappy stickers that left a lot of residue on the box as well as tearing the box a bit. So, oopsies. But on the back of the box, there are many languages there and a few sort of cool shots in the top corner of the box. Um, you can see right there. As well as telling you uh, the accessories that the uh, zombie has in this set. Zooming out, we do have an instruction sheet here. And... Um, very clear, very easy, very simple since it's such a small set. It's just printed on roughly a four size sheet. I think it's a bit shorter. And on the back here, there's a big printout on uh, what the zombie himself looks like. Itself is a very simple build. Um, it's actually not much to it when you first look at it, but then the details start to come through. The bricks are very nice. I uh, you know mega blocks. They like to do their texture stuff to make it look more blocky. I'm glad it's not painted blocks like the stuff. Um, that McFarlane built for The Walking Dead, that was very annoying. Painting stuff on bricks that are meant to fit really snugly is a bad idea because the paint will scratch, things will get stuck, and things will break. Uh, there's a tendency of the, you know, that there could be thinner in the paint that uh, damages the plastic structure. So having stuff pre molded into plastic is much better. Uh, the bricks on the side also make it kind of random uh, the way the pattern folds out, so that's great. I mean, it still looks plasticky, but it's a nice plasticky look. Um, not flat so like Lego and has a bit of detail to it and of course every set will be a bit different because it's completely random So I think that's a very nice touch the way they mix it and then um, you can definitely get like maybe ten of these and build your own little prison wall uh, That'd be kind of cool and uh, you know you have the door here. That's You know that's self-explanatory. That's cool. And you have these three fence pieces on the left and some transparent pieces there uh, the Transparent pieces not cut as nice as Lego though. You can see there's a little cut off plastic marks and such and on the left hand side here you have a, uh, a build metal uh, lamp, light, that's pretty cool, uh, a few pieces to put together, as well as this extra metal bit that's just there, some sort of thing that fell over, a bit of a fence, doesn't matter really, uh, remove that and you can make your own thing. Um, I guess you can do a sort of connecting thing with these, uh, because you have a piece here with a hole in it with this thing sticking in and you have a piece here with the light sticking out so you can put that alter it put it down there or something and then start combining pieces if you really want to or just get some two by twos and combine that the zombie himself he's um guys yeah okay so articulation wise he's got the arm joints and the head is on as a ball peg uh, the helmet does not come off and the hip is uh, swivels just a little bit. It doesn't have any leg joints, which is very unfortunate. Um, all of the non-essential characters seem to get this treatment. They get less articulation than the other characters, and that's quite annoying. So he has these one of these fancy Call of Duty guns you get in the zombie mode. I think it's a flamethrower. Yeah, it must be a flamethrower, like a flame pistol. Uh, you build your own. I guess police stick bat with some pipes and tubes. That's kind of, that makes sense because it's, you know, it's uh, makeshift, right? And uh, he's got a grenade on the armor pack that's actually pinned onto it, so you can unplug that and you get a little ugly bulb like square thing. Plug, unplug that, but you can you can hold that grenade as an actual grenade and stuff. Um, armor is pretty cool, very nicely printed. Supposedly these are somewhat hand printed a little bit, so they all gonna look a little bit different as well. But you can un take that off. And now you have a zombie in a business suit, but he still has combat gear on his legs and arm, uh, well, legs, and yeah, so that doesn't make too much sense, like, you know, you take the armor off, but you don't take the arm of the legs off, so why would you take the armor off? Um, but maybe you can give this armor to someone else, that's probably the point. And um, he does have printed detail underneath the glass piece of the helmet, but uh, yeah, I hope you can hardly see that. 
Still, it's um, very, very nicely done. A uh, hole in the back, as they always do. These figures come, so... Um, no paint on the neck joint, which again, is the smart thing to do, because if you put any paint there, it will just scratch and hinder the movement. So that's that's good. So let me just put these back on. Uh, now, of course, the actual Call of Duty main characters and whatnot, hero characters, they also have hand articulation and feet articulation, which, of course, the zombie does not. So let me just plug him back in here, and there you go. He's like, brains. So yeah, a very nice little set for uh, 38 Hong Kong dollars. I think it's quite decent. Um, at least for Hong Kong people, anyway. I know it's not a new set, but um, it's hard for us to get any... Mega blocks or mega construct sets. They just don't seem to be imported. There's no distributor here. So, whatever we get, sometimes we get good deals, sometimes we don't. Uh, these ones are good deals, I think. If you're in Hong Kong and you're around that shop and you like Call of Duty stuff, they also have other sets. Um, I'm only picking up the zombie ones because I, I want the pieces for you know, um, building sets. Uh, I don't actually care about the zombie or the Call of Duty figures. So, um, eventually, when I get, maybe even I'll get like nine boxes of these extra uh, so make a total of ten and then just get all the zombies out and chuck all the zombies into a ebay listing and see what people want to do with them uh by the way all the zombies and figures come in their own their own little baggy when you uh, open up a loot box so very nice little set very good for expanding existing sets or just buy a few of these as a simple wall display maybe you have one two you know like two by two and you have a no nice little prison wall to uh, display figures on Subscribe, suggestion, comment below, and of course, take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now.